We're playing Fallout New Vegas today. Oh, I even have on my New Vegas shirt. The Kings, baby. Although it's under the same quarter zip I think I've worn in like eight straight streams. I don't know why I want to play New Vegas today. We'll do, we'll just take a gap day and we'll return to the Skyrim Endless Dungeon tomorrow or whenever this is on the VOD channel, whenever tomorrow might be. I just wanted to do a stream, all right? Okay, I've been dealing with the Kingdom Come stream. Those getting hit with the age restrictions. We reacted to Spiff's video in one. The music that he used was Epidemic Sound, so that one got claimed. I just wanted a good casual stream. Also have to do a little bit of balancing tweaks, figure out how some of the rules of how we can change the Endless Dungeon. So we'll do the Endless Dungeon in the next one. But I haven't played New Vegas in literally so long. It's been, it's been about a year, I swear. Thank you, kind sir. It seemed fitting today. Morning, Juve. Morning, Woody Guns. Uh, guys, I gotta tell you too, by the way, I don't know if this was obvious or not, but the last several streams, I have been really, like, exhausted. My sleep has just been so bad. Really, really bad. You will literally play anything but already. Look, look, if Red Dead Redemption wants to be 75 I gigabits less than it is, that. maybe I'll consider. Now, I, I do want to play Red Dead. See, it's such a long game. I think if we played Red Dead again, I would do it with the randomizer. That would probably be a lot of fun. What's the T on the Dungeon Crawler mod we tried recently? Um, does DDM? Oh, so Dexter, I don't know if you're a stream behind or not, but we did get the perk potions. We got those figured out. And it's very compelling. Thank you, kind sir. Learning. Test. Learning every inch of a dungeon. When we die and then we restart and we want to have an efficient run. There is a lot of fun in, you know, getting good loot drops and trying to get as much enchanted stuff and trying to game the economy for every stop. Although... I did notice a few problems with it where it starts off way too hard and then all of a sudden once you break through you just become you have like all the power in the world. So I'm, part of me thinks that we should have some sort of checkpoint system you know between the safe zones. There's another tool that maybe we could get involved in it that I don't really want to spoil just in case we use it and it's cool. Uh, but we'll try it out. We'll try out some stuff. Yeah, and, and I think what's fun is, at least for when, when it comes to making the video for it, I will catch up on alerts here in just a second. I think what's fun when it comes to actually putting together the video project is, you know, we're play testing a game mode. Things are going to go wrong. Things are going to be horribly imbalanced. It's a thought experiment in taking a game that you know very well and reworking the entire gameplay loop. And when you do that, there are just so many variables that pop up. Like this potion affects this, but then how does that change how you deal with this thing? And, and how does it change how you interact with each combat encounter? And, you know, lots of different stuff. Um, but thank you very much. Blue Master King, thank you for two months. Taco God, thank you for tier one. Woody Guns, thank you for four months. I might have to take this tune out of the happy soundtrack. It's a little too it's a little too upbeat for me right now, but I guess I'm feeling it a little bit. My boyfriend just got me RDR2 for my birthday. I'm excited. Kimmy, have you played the original? You should check out the YouTube channel, The Losers. I think you, Spiff, Javo, and Doug Doug would make a great channel. <laughs> but like, we should all just make one channel together. No, not Red Dead Revolver. I don't know if I, I don't know if that's what I have. I, I mean, Red Dead Redemption 1. I know Red Dead Revolver is technically in there. RDR was also good, better story, story than RDR 2, in my opinion. Uh, I'm gonna hard, Disagree. Thank you, actually. Hello, Juve. Two Hello, months. Violetta. Thank you for 14 months. 
Is that a Mandalorian? Yes, it is. It's uh, it's Mando. You got a little baby Yoda on there. I gotta disagree though on RDR one over RDR two, especially in terms of story gameplay. If you know, you kind of dug the flow and the feel of the original. All right, I I could give you that one, but I just think yeah, RDR two was like. Can you believe that that shit Thank ran you, on an sir. Xbox One? Let's keep it going. Like, has that sunk in yet? That RDR came out in 2018 and ran on the next Xbox One. And is, I don't know. I, I mean, for me, at least when that came out, that was like, there's not a lot of games that take current gen hardware and just like, get the absolute like get get every square inch out of it like that's what i think i feel like that's what net when people say next gen i feel like that's what this is a next gen game you know what i mean Oh uh, yeah! Oh, <laughs> Fallout Four does. <laughs> Fallout, yeah, I mean, hey, technically, technically, Fallout Four does get every single inch out of the X, the original Xbox One. Yeah, it's pushing that thing. You go to downtown Boston, <laughs> that fucker is chugging. Or Skyrim on PS3, which I have it. It is in my closet. It will be broken out eventually at some point. I'm just always forever disappointed in Red Dead Online. I'm not going on my Red Dead Online rant again. Nope, not happening. All right, yeah, so I want to play New Vegas today. Why? Honestly, no reason other than it's been a really, really long time since I've played it. And I know, I know you all enjoy it. I know people love the Fallout New Vegas. I love it, too. It's a very good game. I still play Skyrim on Xbox 360. Honestly, you're a Chad. You're, you're just, you're a cool person. If I went over to somebody's house and they had an Xbox 360 and the only games, let's say the only games they had on it were just like Battlefield 3, Skyrim, maybe a Halo, I'd be like, this is the coolest person I've ever hung out with. It's, it's downhill from here. You're in love with me? Pintal, I don't, I don't, let's, uh, <laughs> don't get too parasocial now. Sorry. Sorry, Benny. Oh, game audio. Thank you. Good call. I was sitting here jamming out to the main theme, and I completely forgot that you all need to hear this, too. Oh, crap. Uh-oh. Let's just... Everybody relax. Everybody calm down. Okay, we're in. We are playing Fallout. Okay, I, one, one more. Maybe one more pop-up. Okay, uh, that is the last one. There's... You're awake. How about that? What are we doing in New Vegas? I don't really know. Whoa, Girl, there. New Vegas? Easy. Yeah. You've been out cold a couple of days now. That's Doc Mitchell. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Mm. <sighs> this is always tough. You know, I feel like this is the most important part of any one of these playthroughs. My name. What is my name? Damn it. That's too long. I was going to make it what I'd have picked for you. Marlboro man. 
I'm extremely happy to finally catch a stream. You've made my spare time extremely fun and has relit a fire for Bethesda Games. Woods, welcome. Good to see you. How are you? <laughs> welcome to the, uh, I don't know, what is it? Uh, welcome to the Thunderdome of mid-games, of games that we all love, but we can't acknowledge. There are significant problems in almost all of them, but we love them. We love them. Seen a fair few streamers dip into New Vegas this past week only to give up uh, too many crashes. Really? Name him. Okay, yeah, I like Thunderdome. Thunderdome is a good name. Oh, I should have done Thunderdome of mid. I can't say. Nah, I'm just playing. They're great games. If that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Spring. Uh, shit, what was now, I gonna say, though? I hope you don't mind, but I had to... I don't remember. I lost my train of thought. Your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. Oh, but, I uh, the crashes... I've never had that many crashing issues with New Vegas. There goes my garage. Uh, it should have... I mean, it can't do the... radio tunes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the ambient tracks. I do. Normally, if we are recording or something, then we'll have them. Or then we'll have them off. Just because for the edit, it's a lot easier to edit around garage. Oh my god, wait. Our garage is big enough to do a stream in the garage. <laughs> let's, let's do a garage stream. We can just go out there. The entire stream will just be smoking one cigarette and having one beer in my garage in the middle of the day. Okay. We will go with white guy. See if I can get any of them that look like me. I, I mean, we're almost there. He's got the beard. The rest, oh man, these are some ugly dudes. <laughs> is, is this how they were vanilla? I wonder how they handled the presets for this game. You know, I wanna delve into the minds of when this game was created and they were like, okay, we need 10 presets. Do you think they just hit randomize and then they went with the first 10? Oh, wait, okay, randomize doesn't change the beard or hair. So let's get the hair. No. Oh, hair is... Let's start with the hair. Clean cut. I mean, clean cut is fairly close. I have a little bit of a pushover in my hair. I think that's probably what we have to go with. Now, facial hair, it's not really a rough beard. It's more of... Actually, that might work. Oh, but the sold patch is cool. Hi, Juve. I just adopted two kittens and one is a nervous boy, so hmm. I've been playing your VODs to him and he loves watching them to fall asleep. D does he or, or is it the only thing that's available? Maybe I am, you know, maybe I'm like melatonin for cats. I think I think that's how I can probably pitch this. I'm going to have my manager pitch to, uh, pitch to sponsors that way from now on. Just tell them I'm like melatonin for cats. It's a good. Now, hold on. We need to find. Oh, you know what sucks? I wish I could go with like brown for the hair up top, but do a blend. I need a blend. I need a little bit of that orange in the beard, right? Like I know, it's like a hybrid. Okay, So we go. Is it more chocolate or brown? It's definitely more chocolate. But then can we up the red? That's too much. Okay, we'll leave it there. Perfect. Age. I'm still young. I'm still young. <laughs> I'll keep the slider low. I'm still young, I promise. Now, once you hit, so like this, the age slider all the way down here, this is like when a YouTuber 
is under 25, but then when you go over 25, it, it's just, there's no in between. You're either here or you're all the way at the end. That's it. No in between. Hold on, the eyes are a little bit scary, but I think we're getting fairly close to one-to-one -one recreation in New Vegas. <laughs> it's not too bad. I don't know, I, I think we're... Close? Like if I was dunked in some radioactive goo. My head is wider, you think so? I've always thought I have a very vertical head. You know, like my head's kind of an oval shape. I feel like, I don't know, is that the normal? Is that like the stock head shape for people these days? Oval? I've always assumed, well, at least when I would draw, I've always assumed people have had circular heads, but no. We have, um, no, I think this is good. I think the eyes being a little bit bulgier, it gives it some like anime vibes. Well, I got most so we'll go with this. Anyway, stuff that mattered. Okay, no sense keeping you in bed anymore. True, the eyebrows were off. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. I need more roller coaster eyebrow representation in video games. The only options are always like pencil thin or bushy. By that bigger tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a rick. Okay, hold on, hold on. The music is a tad loud. And Doc's voice is a little quiet. What is the strategy for speedrunning here? Don't you like push him into it? give the bigger tester a try. You'll learn right quick if you get back all your faculty. I've been addicted to watching speedrun content lately. Uh, there's there's this game. Have any of you ever heard of the game called King's Quest? It's like a point and click game in the same vein as those kids games. What are they called? Um, Freddy Fish. It's kind of in the same vein of like the Freddy Fish games. I don't know if y'all ever played those as a kid. Banger video game. But I've been obsessed with watching like breakdowns of King's Quest speedrunning. It is enthralling. What's your brew of choice? So right now this is a cup of Cameron's cold brew. Or no, not cold brew, but uh, it's like the brand is Cameron's and it's salted caramel, I believe. It's actually pretty damn good. And I grabbed it because it was the biggest bag at the store for the best uh, for the best value. It was like a huge bag. And I've always liked the pinch of salt in black coffee to reduce the bitterness. So this ended up pretty good. Coffee like tea should be hot. Maybe. I do like cold brew. So I want to go low int. I want to go one intelligence. And... I kind of want to go... Is perception explosion? Like, which one is explosives? Because I think I want to go Rocket Launcher, Thank Endurance, you, kind, Charisma, right? So that we could play the economy. Missiles are expensive. Low in. Maybe we make it to New Vegas, do some Gamba. Definitely need to go up in the strength. Oh my God. If you go, <laughs> okay, we well can go one in, one agility. Why low intelligence? Uh, I've never really played with the bad... Not really bad. I've never really played with the low int dialogue choices. So I want to go low int. Because I think I'm good at the game and I can manage it. So I think we go low int, low agility, stat dump, everything else. Someone who knows about salt and coffee to reduce bitterness. I've made your day. People think you're crazy. I mean, honestly, I don't really know. Right, so I always play high intelligence because of the skill points. Or I always play at least seven intelligence. But this is just a nice change of pace for me. 
right? It'll give me some new problems to work around. Make sure to get wild. Of course I'm gonna... Well, I don't know. Will I take wild wasteland? Maybe I take two different perks. See if your dogs are still barking. All right. I'm going to say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Cat. Dog. Yeah, I, I knew the first one was dog. Cat. House. Tree? What's the closest to tree? Oh, God, not even close. <laughs> uh... I guess renovate, right? A tree is in a yard. Night. Day. I can't believe day is not an answer. I feel like that's my answer every time. So closest to day is light, which is probably campfire. Who the hell would say campfire? Enemy. Friend? I'm just going with opposites. Thank you, kind sir. Reasonable. Light. Day. Which I guess is torch. Mother, Mother father, caretaker. Okay. And then we'll just agree across the board. I don't have Wait, two bears high fiving. So maybe you'd better just have a look at the reason. Uh so he gave us speech repair. Thank you, kind sir. So I think I'm going to go explosives, barter. We're going to play hardcore. Why would I not play hardcore? Repair? Damn, repair only being at eight is going to be brutal. Okay, maybe cringe? Lockpick? Tag lockpick and then we're fairly close to lockpick 50. What do you guys think? Do I get nightmares about Skyrim? I have had dreams about Skyrim before. Yes, I've had... I've had dreams of not being in Skyrim, but I have had dreams of, like, playing Skyrim. I don't remember it too well. Usually it's stream-related. Repair is really good. Oh, medicine. Oh my god, medicine eight. <laughs> this is this is gonna be bad. I don't know. I kinda wanna just roll with it. Let's see. We have easy Pete. He's gonna help us out. Right? He'll be able to. Let's just roll with it. Before it's I more fun that place, way. I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out. I've played so much Baldur's Gate 3 lately, my dreams are turn-based. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of Does that mean your dreams take longer? Cause some of those some of those combat encounters in Baldur's Gate 3 can take like a half hour. Especially if it's like a really close one and it's difficult. Uh your melee and unarmed attacks do more damage, but less critical hit damage. What if we did explosives slash unarmed? I know we didn't tag unarmed, but our strength is decently high. And because it would be sort of our backup option to throwing grenades and dynamite and using rocket launchers, if, if they close in on us, punching stuff could be fun. While wearing any type of glasses, you have plus one perception without minus one. Throw them faster at the cost of 25% less range. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it on the I off chance that I do get to use. Ooh, skilled is pretty good, isn't it? Actually, no. 
Oh wait, skilled is really good. You get you gain less XP. But honestly, all skilled does is let you play Fallout New Vegas longer, which inherently makes it a good trait, right? Spooky Shauna, thank you for five months. Uh, blue, 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 bud, thank you for gifting one. Let me catch up on these. Apologies for that. Jonna Marie, thank you for the prime. I think I will go for loose cannon, though, just because mechanically it's a bit interesting and I want to see how it plays out. <clears throat> All right, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. Have you tried a Little Caesars Zap Pack yet? I haven't. I've heard about it, though. So a throwing slash punching build. Give me the cash. Stimpy. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. This is gonna take me a second just because the controls... I haven't played a game Brio Fallout in a very long time. Can't do it. I don't think I'm gonna be good enough for either of those, but let's take what we can before we get out of here. I'm gonna need the money. Cigarette carton, decent. Cigarettes, of course. I don't think there's much else in here. Yeah, we got what, a Braxo cleaner? You can probably use that for some of the crafting recipes. Here, these are would you yours. rather have Nuka-Cola or Sunset Sarsaparilla? I think I would prefer Nuka-Cola. Is there... Is there like a lore description of what Sunset Sarsaparilla tastes like? Because I've told you, I've talked to you guys before about how picky I am, you know, about that stuff. Have you played Outer Worlds? I have played Outer Worlds. I've never beaten it, but I have played it a decent amount. Uh, don't mention it. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. Yes. Yeah, I want it hardcore. You bet your ass. Wait, what's a sarsaparilla in real life? Okay, I have realized I, I don't really like having all this stuff, but I will keep it. <laughs> it's pretty overpowered, but I'm going to keep it. What difficulty are we on? I don't want to do anything too crazy. We'll play on hard. Kill cams? Yeah, why not? Let's let's throw the kill cams on. Especially with the explosions. Howdy, partner. Howdy, partner. Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Sarsaparilla is root beer before it's root beer. Maybe I would like that. I don't know. That'd be a close call. Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. Happy trails. Good to see you, Vic. We'll talk later. There's problems I have to solve. All right, I'm not going to lie. I do think... Like, if I was a Fallout NPC, it's not bad. I don't think I did that bad of a job. I think I did all right. 
Why do I look like Jabo? Because uh, we're both white guys with some facial hair. Probably. There's a lot of us on YouTube. Howdy. We're overrepresented. What easy Pete do for you? You don't have fish eyes? Yeah, but this is a cartoon, right? This is like the uh, Netflix adaptation or the... Uh, I don't know what to call it. Oh, wait, we don't talk Keep to him yet. Gun. All right, let's talk to Sonny first. Wait, hold on. Let me check. I have way too much stuff on me. I need to just shed weight and stockpile some cash. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. Can do. These games always throw me off because the... Like the mouse sensitivity when you get to the menu. It's way faster. All right, binoculars, don't need them. Broad machete, don't need it. Laser pistol, get out of here. Shotgun? See ya, 700, okay, not too bad. Now I bet he has, we wanna go doctor's bag. We're gonna wanna load up on a good amount of meds. Yeah, I forgot how expensive stim packs can be. We'll get some stims, throw the pistol over there as well. Just give me all the stims. Probably should buy the salesman weekly. A Little bit of dirty wah wah. And I bet we have some ammo. Ooh. Hold on a sec. I think I'm just going to go with whichever one looks cooler. We want to go minus one agility. My agility is already one. Which I'm now realizing is not very good. Bathtub streamer is a real thing. You're looking at one. <laughs> Not yet, though. Okay, I'm waiting to come into form. Let's just trade that for now. Let's, doing business with you. I want to figure out which of these free armors is the best. Pay to win? Hello? Okay, tribal raiding armor. Uh, actually, I don't hate it. I do really like this raider armor. Reminds me of Fallout 3. Oh, like, look at that. The, the welding mask on the... As a gauntlet? Yeah, that's cool. Lightweight metal. I don't hate it. But it's a bit too... It's a bit too skin tight for me. Right? Like, I feel like the, the that should be reserved for the... Uh, I do love a fictional armor where for some reason... They have one of their arms naked. I don't know why, but I feel like having your arms with just different sleeve length looks cool in fiction. Armored Vault 13, this is probably what I'm going to end up going with just because I'm biased. Yeah, like there's just nothing else like an armored vault suit. Sorry. It's the best. It's the best look. You looking to buy some supplies? And At least to me. To me, there's no better Fallout look than the armored vault suit. Than just kind of throwing some shit on top of the vault. Like, you come out of the vault, or, or you know, you got the vault suit. I, I know the courier doesn't exactly escape a vault. I just love it. It's very, it's got a vibe. Thanks. Okay, we can wait till he has some more money. I think I still have a good amount of ammo. 20 grenades. So let's get our hotkeys set up. One. Three. I am curious to see how fast these can throw. Cheyenne, stay. Cheyenne, stay. Ah, right, goodbye. Talk, talk to you later, Sonny. Doc Mitchell said you could teach me to survive in the desert. Yeah. Oh, my aim is going to be so bad during this. Oh, crap. You know what I always forget about this game? Whenever I scroll to go into third person, it always scrolls chat. 
Vault suit with combat armor is all you ever use. So I'm a big fan of the vault suit. Like if we're talking Fallout 4, I like the vault suit with any combination of leather or raider. Because the raider armor is like slapping junk onto yourself to protect yourself, now, but the leather looks a bit more traditional. On the fence there. Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Wait, why is my aim so good? This thing has zero. Oh, is it my perception? Yeah, because my perception is pretty high. It's at seven. That's the right Never mind. Okay, the not nearly side. as much sway. Try crouching down and staying still. I'm already no, crouching, no, Sonny. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight Seth. Suit yourself. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Don't worry, Sonny. There's like a total favorite. of 25 songs. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Aim is strength and skill for a weapon type. I knew there was some strength to it. I guess perception is more vats. Did you ever join the powder gangers? I feel like I should on this character. Simply because I like dynamite. Look how slow that is. Look how slow the gun. He's taking his sweet ass time. In case you guys didn't know, uh, I've had this in my game for a very long time. <laughs> we come over here for, you know, B-roll. Although, damn, it is so bright in here. It's always been there. Wait, quick. Somebody who's good at Photoshop. Put me. Any. And. Let me get out of here. Boom. You have enough room to crop and put him somewhere silly. All right, shield your eyes. I know it's very bright in here. Mostly because lighting. It's got like very flat lighting, I think. Howdy. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Trudy, take cover. Now, if you're not gonna buy something, get out. What was that? The wrong the what the fuck? Oh, I think they're all pissed off at me. Can I? Okay, surrender. Everybody relax, okay? All right, calm down. <laughs> it's still giving me updates. This poor guy. <laughs> he was just having some fun. Hello. What are you doing over here, Joe Cobb? Did he not leave? Does he just stay here? What do you want? Well, I want to know why you're just kind of hanging out in here still. He's some traitor who decided he'd rather shoot than pay the toll for being in our territory. He's hiding somewhere in town. Would serve these idiots right if me and my guys shot the place up after we got payback on Ringo. Do we have to do this conversation here? We're not being very discreet. I can't believe- are we really having this guy? <laughs> I think I might have bugged him out with the uh, dynamite. Actually, no, 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 no. If he's crouched, that indicates he's in stealth mode so we can have this conversation safely. Let's say I help you take over this town. Trudy, look away. Let me get out of town before we talk. Too many unfriendly ears around. Honestly? The way he delivers his lines, it's very fitting for him to be crouched right now. It is now. Me and the rest of the guys busted out of the NCR prison east of here and took over. Now we're calling the shots. Hello, garage. Rude. Rude! Excuse me. Playing video games over here. God, God, can you believe some people? It's Sunday. None of your damn business. 
You ought to know better than to ask a man that kind of question. Is that a rude question? Anybody in here ever been to prison? Do I have any former prison chatters? I mean, if you did your time, you did your time. That's cool. But like, yeah, if somebody's been to prison, be like, what were you in for? I've never met anybody that's been to prison. Robbed some people, burned some things, killed a few guys. That's my first XP. Yeah. What the hell is your problem? What's your problem? Oh, he is crippled. I think everyone in town is crippled right now. <laughs> he got out of here so quick. I think we gave him the crippled walk speed buff. You know that glitch? Because he moved out really quickly. When I was in jail, everyone that came in would be asked what they did to get in. I know we can't really confirm that. I'm just going to choose to believe it. Uh, well, at least we confirmed that our dynamite will do decent damage. But I think I need to talk to Trudy. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Yeah, I know. I've been, I've been making a name for myself since I got into town. I feel kind of bad that her legs all messed up. Looks like our little town got itself dragged in the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Okay, just give me give me the quest so I can talk to Easy Pete and get my free explosives. Some of the other, personally. You mean murder him? That's not our way. Even He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd so I help Ringo and Good Springs will like me more. Why would you ask that? Well, what if I help the guy who is threatening everyone here? Huh? How would you feel about that, Trudy? Don't know why you'd want to do a thing like that. Yep, you'd get on their good side, but people around... People around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. Well, what if the people around here were dead as a result? So, what, well, we talked to Sunny, right? Hi there. Sticking around. Unless I'm just doing this completely wrong, and I'm already locked into... Oh, that's right, we have to talk to Ringo first. Can you fix Trudy's radio? No, I think my repair skill is only a level 8. Don't you have to have around 25 to do that? I'm late, now I gotta head to work. Mental Shatter, have a great day at work. I hope it's a wonderful shift. I hope it's calm. I hope customers are nice. I hope they're not dickheads. That's close enough. Who are you, and what do you want with me? Sorry about the gun. We got off to a bad start. What say we start over with a friendly game of caravan? You know how to play? I don't, but let's play. I love to gamble. Thank you, kind sir. It's a two-player game, and the winner takes the whole pot. You build a caravan using the cards in your deck. The goal is to create caravan bids that beat your opponent's bids. So there's more strategy than luck involved. It's why you won't see caravan in any casino. Too slow-paced. And more importantly, no house edge. Here, take this holotape. It goes into more specifics about the rules. You'll also- Thank you, kind so. sir. Um, Sunday caravan stream? Only caravan. We're not actually gonna do any quests. I just had to get to this point in the game so that I could fool you all into watching caravan the entire time. Okay. Caravan decks are comprised of at least 30 cards from one or more traditional playing card sets. The deck may have any number of cards of any type that suits a player's strategy although it cannot have duplicate cards from the same set. For example, a King of Spades from set A and a King of Spades from the set B deck is acceptable, but more than one King of Spades from set A would be illegal. 
Caravan is played with two players building three opposing piles, or caravans, of numbered cards. The goal is to outbid your opponent's caravan with the highest value of numbered cards without being too light, under 21, or overburdened, over 26. Okay, so you want a 25, or 26, I guess. That's not over 26. The game begins with each player taking eight cards from their deck and placing either one numerical card or ace on each caravan. Players may not discard during this initial round. Once both players have their have started th their three caravans, each player may do one of the following on their turn. Play one card and draw a new card from his or her deck to their hand. Discard one card from their hand and draw a new card from his or her, de his or her deck. Disband one of their three caravans by removing all cards from that pile. Caravans have a direction, either ascending or descending numerically. I feel like that's important. And a suit. The suit is determined with the first card placed on a caravan, the direction by the second. All subsequent cards must continue the numerical direction or match the suit of the previous card. Cards of the same numerical value cannot be played in sequence regardless of suit. Face cards can be attached to numeric cards in any caravan and affects them in various ways. Joker, played against Ace 2 through 10. Effects change based on whether it's an Ace or a numbered card. See below. Multiple Jokers may be played on the same card. Ace, value of 1. Jokers played on Aces removes all other non-face cards. Whoa, 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 okay, okay, we're getting pretty deep here. E.g., a, a Joker played on all Ace of Spades removes all Spades. 2 through 10. Listed value. Jokers played on these cards remove all other cards of this value from the table. A joker played on a 4 of hearts removes all 4s other than that card specifically from the table. Okay, that seems like a pretty involved strategy if you wanted to go for it. Who's doing the garage again? I'm learning how to play caravan. Just collect 10s, 9s, and 7. Easy. I'm gonna win. Jack played against Ace. 2 through 10, kind, removes that card along with any face cards. Okay, so it looks like the face cards played against Ace. 2 through 10, reverses the current direction of the hand and changes the current suit of the hand. Multiple queens may be played on the same card. Adds the value of that card again. Oh, okay, so a king played on a 9 adds 9 to that hand. <clears throat> Got it. Multiple kings may be played on the same card for multiplicative multiplicative effects. That's a tough word to say. Four plus king equals eight. Four plus two kings equals 16. Okay. A player's caravan is considered sold when the value of the cards is over 20 and under 27. The other player may still outbid by increasing the value of their opposing pile while staying within the range, within the 21 to 26 range. When each of the three caravans is completed. Okay, all right. I think I roughly understand the rules. Let's play some caravan. What is it? What do you mean, what is it? I want to play caravan. Sure. Don't sound so excited, Ringo. I raise you. What? All in, baby. All in. Wait, hold on. Wait, Ringo's only in for 74. Am I all in or are we playing for 74 caps? What are we playing for? Um, okay, okay, so. Whew. You can't quick load while the game, I'm not trying to quick, I'm not trying to quick load unless it's mapped to my right arrow key, which I think it may be. Oh, that's right, I some, I'm, I mapped quick save quick load to my arrow keys i don't remember why is it when we were trying to speed run the casinos that was a long time ago speaking of speed running casinos i'm actually going to vegas again in a couple weeks okay now we're good I think we just go with random. Let's play. Okay, he goes with a seven. That's cute. Uh, 
Uh, I'm trying to think what gets it. We could go five, king, king. Yeah, so the first hand, I'm going to try to set up with a five. I'm going to follow it up with a king, and then I'm going to try to pull a second king, if possible, from my deck. Because that would get us 25. That's a pretty good score. Now, do I have to play my first card? Am I able to play king? Oh, I can't select king right now. Okay, so I think I have to start my next caravan. Which, I don't really know the effects that aces have. I'll hold on to my twos for now. Okay, Ringo wants to play ace. I think I'll play an ace on this caravan and then maybe try to mirror his moves. 17 there. I'm not sure how a queen plays. Three, okay. Play the king. Oh, we got a 10. Okay. 10 feels pretty solid. So I could save that 10. I think I want to get that 10 placed on the middle. Oh, it's got a match suit. Okay. Or descending. It can either match suit or be descending. That means we have to play something lower than nine. Okay. So give me a second here. I got to think. <clears throat> oh, I won't be able to play a 10. I, I won't be able to play four and then 10 on that nine. Right, because 10 isn't descending from four. Ooh, oh, I should have saved my queen for that. Okay, okay, I'm starting to get the game a little bit now. All right, I'm starting to get it. Uh, so I think the ace can play an ascending order. Maybe. I wanna, I wanna win this. I think I'm going to discard a two. I like the seven. Ah, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take seven. Boom. We like seven. We go seven onto the nine. And then seven on nine would bring us to 16. And I can play a four. That only brings us to 20. But if I pull a six, that can get us within scoring range on that middle caravan. Or, you know, hopefully we get like another seven. I'm not your friend, buddy. I'm not your buddy friend. I'm not your buddy guy. Why is everyone being so, why is everyone being so rude to each other? Please be kind. Oh, he can play a jack on my cards? You're a little dick, Ringo. He saw what I was setting up there. Okay. All right. Okay. I see how it is. Little douche. Well, at least we have a 10. So we can probably start on that caravan with a 10. And I have 10 more cards than him. Ooh, damn. He's got a 26 on that one. That's hard to beat. And it's not like I can take 10. Right, like I can't play a 10 there. Can't play a 10 there. But I can play it on ace. Which I don't think is too bad, right? Or do I want to keep... Oh, 
Oh, I'm trying to think. Maybe he was only able to play. Um, what's it called? Maybe he got to play the jack because I had a king, and the jack is in descending order from a king. So I don't know if I would be able to play a jack middle row to take out his caravan. Is two ascending from ace or descending? I'm not sure. I, I, I would assume aces are high here. So what do we have, a three? I'm gonna get rid of it. Give me the jack. Okay, let's see how we can use our jack now. I can play the jack. Okay, so if I play jack here, where should I play it to eliminate his 26? Play it on the biggest number? So we play it here adjacent to the seven. Does that eliminate everything above it? I mean, this is important. I gotta win this hand. That's a four and out of seven. Well, I, I don't, I don't know what it is. It's hard to read upside down. Just, do I play it up here? Or do I play it all the way down here? Okay, let's refer to this as the bottom or this as the top. Do we play bottom or top? Bottom. Play on the nine. Let's try it. Okay, so it only got rid of one card. Interesting. Multiple aces. This is hard. This is really hard. Can't play 10 there. Can't play 10 there. I can play a 10 there. That would bring us to 11. We can't play matching aces there. It's got to be the same suit, I believe. We can play ace here, though, because it's a match in suit. God dang, he's got another 26. Why is his math so good? We could go 9 to 20. I definitely think I could pull another six. Nine over here kind of works for me. We got a seven, come on. No, I need a six, please. Can't play 10 there. We could go, okay, it's a heart. I'm like really locked into this right now. Sorry, Chad, I, I, I wanna win. I feel like I'm gonna lose though. I got plenty of spades. We go four. Ooh, 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 ooh. We're gonna go two, and then seven of spades on middle. 
So we go two of spades here. We're gonna be able to flip direction again with the seven of spades because it's a matching suit, right? So this will bring us to 18. Seven brings us to 25. We beat his 23. No way, he hits 26. Are you kidding me? I hate this game. Um, we can still play 4-3. No, but that brings us to 27. Oh my gosh, Ringo, you dickhead. We have 10 more cards than him, though. If I can pull another jack, I think we have a decent chance. But I am running out of options here, so I think we'll play our 10 on the ace. Give me a jack. I know that he's gonna get a jack though, and he's probably gonna play it on me. He's only had the one. What does Joker do? I lose? Why do I lose? I'm not done playing. I'm not done. I'll show you who loses a caravan. <laughs> Why did the FOV change? Why is it warped? Give me my money back. Oh yeah, give me all that cash. Caravaneer outfit. Prick. Nobody beats me in caravan. All right, everyone in town might be a little upset with me. Quiet. Very quiet. Okay. All is well. Maybe they don't know yet. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating it is. Hello, I'm a god. Easy Pete moment. Shame on you, sweet Ribbon daddy. of the lake, thank you very much. For gifting five to the channel. <clears throat> very kind of you, I appreciate it. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Okay, so we can't talk to Easy Pete. Well, let's see if we can talk to Sonny. Hi there. Sticking around good. Okay, nobody cares that Ringo is dead. I guess that's good. I Well, I guess if nobody in town is going to talk to me after killing Ringo, then maybe we just go try and find Joe Cobb. Unless Joe Cobb is also going to be upset at me. Oh, no, he's just chilling. He's right here. Okay. I'm ready to join the Powder Ganger, sir. Ready to enlist in your military. What do you want now? Why are you so upset at me? What, the whole dynamite thing? That was just me training so you could see my arm and how well I can place an explosive. What the hell for? Just farmers and ranchers out here. Not much worth stealing. <laughs> Free food. <laughs> yeah, I need a little bite. Having all the food we want ain't a bad idea, actually. Getting sick of eating prison rations. First things first, though. You go settle things with Ringo and put a bullet between his eyes while I round up my crew and let them in on the plan. Yeah, way ahead of you there. No shit. I guess the next thing we need to do is hang out. Honestly, if Ringo wanted to live, why didn't he just let me win in caravan? Plan. Is he stupid? Is he an idiot? That's all he had to do. Just let me win. Look what you've brought upon this town, Ringo. This is your doing. All right, gentlemen, let's do this. That bastard Ringo. He's been swindling people out of their caravan cash for too long. My gang's here, but we'll still need a plan before we A lot of people are saying, you know, that we don't have a goal for this stream or for this playthrough. We ain't got much in the way of supply. Once it I have one now. I will win a hand of caravan. That's my new goal. 
I will win a game of Caravan. Wait, is there something else I'm supposed to do before we... Can I, like, sabotage them in some way? Optional. Obtain Doc Mitchell spare medical supplies. Shake down Chet for supplies. Oh, yeah, let's do that. I don't necessarily want to kill Doc Mitchell. I just want to introduce myself and be like, hey, you know how bad it's going to go. Are you going to do the glitch and get a ton of XP? No. Where's the fun in that? Then I'm too powerful. Buy some supplies? The powder gangers need you to donate some supplies to them, which is me. What? Why the hell would I want to do that? Uh, I said the same thing about the XP exploit. All right, all right. I've got some extra leather armor and spare ammo for you. Don't hurt anybody if you don't have to. All right. No problem. Now let me sell it right back to you. And oh, he doesn't have any cash. <laughs> I want to sell it right back. Uh, oh, he has dynamite. So I can sell some of it back, probably. Sell that. Sell that. What does he have for ammo? Five, five, six. Don't need that. Give me a shout if you need anything. All right, now I do need Doc Mitchell's medicals. Those are going to be helpful. Do we have a reason to be so ruthless yet? I got cheated out of my money. I thought I was Thank playing a fair sir. game. But Wait, no. your Skyrim looks different. Mine does? Welcome back. Doc, I need all the medical supplies you have for an injured man down by the highway. Are you sure? What kind of injuries are we talking about? You keep your mouth shut, old man. Oh, no. <laughs> 8 out of 25. There's lots of blood and bruises. That does sound messy, but not too bad. I can't spare supplies for cuts and bruises. Doc, please. You take care now. I really, really wish you didn't say that. Why did you have to say that? Uh oh. You should give that back. Okay, I'm only shunned. It's all good. It's all good. It's okay. It's okay. But it, you know, take it. Take a deep breath now. They don't hate us yet. Yet. List of caravan players. Thank you, Lipkin. Cliff Briscoe. Dale Barton. Amb. Amb. Dennis Crocker? Who's Amb? Isaac. Private Jake Irwin. Johnson Nash. Jules. Keith. Lacey. Little Buster. Quartermaster Mays. No Bark Noonan. Ringo. Jed Masterson. Oh, Ambassador Dennis Crocker. Beats being in a prison. This guy looks so... Why does he look like a child? Doesn't this guy look like they just took a child and, like, <laughs> made him five and a half feet tall? Like, there's, like, he's got the little baseball cap on. He's all excited. He's ready to raid. I don't even know why you would wear this to a gun. What? Why? What, what is the fit? <laughs> This is how we should be dressing in the year 2024, by the way. Okay, this is real style. Okay, I'm armed and dangerous. Do we go into the fight with our spears? I guess the grenade rifle. This thing's pretty overpowered. I'll save the grenade rifle. Hey. We ready to move or what? Let's do this. It's about time. I saw some of the townies gathering at the saloon, so we've got a militia to take down. We get rid of them, and we own this place. Well, yeah, why would you call... Why would you go into someone's stream and call them ugly? It's kind of a dickhead move. Even if you're joking, that's just being an asshole. Alright, can I hit this throw from here? Or is my arm not good enough? 
Oh my god, Doc Mitchell, chill. Dude, I thought we were cool. Okay, fine. Here. Uh. Oh, that's an awful throw. I guess not bad, but I don't really have much range. I gotta arc this thing. Yeah. I should not have taken the trait. All right, Trudy is about to go down. Baseball bat on the way. I know I shouldn't throw my dynamite that way. I kind of want to just to get a good view of this baseball bat coming in. Easy Pete's over here. Let's just hang back for a second and wait for this baseball bat to clobber Trudy right over the forehead. Oh, they totally just took that kill. Beat his ass. Yeah, not too easy now, is it, Pete? Okay, Sunny smiles in back. Hit the flank. Right to the chest. Oh, I didn't miss! Come on! <laughs> uh, I really wanted to see his head go flying. All right, Sunny. Let's, uh... Ooh. Let's take her gun out of her hands. This is like, this is such a badass move with a spear to disarm somebody. Oh, now she wants to box. Okay, well, meet my secondary weapon. Lefty and righty. No, 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 get out of here, get out of here. This is my honor duel. Let's go, Sonny. Good old showdown. Guys, would you leave us alone? Let me do the fight. I can handle her. <laughs> you, know what? you know what? Fine. You, you guys handle this. I'm stuck. Get out of here. Why are you throwing? What? Why are you throwing them at me? Friendly fire. Who is throwing dynamite? Why? I need that guy to throw one more dynamite. He'll kill all the powder gangers. I don't know if I've ever seen this fight play out this ridiculously. Yeah, 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 with a little jab. Accepted by the Powder Gangers. You need to be careful. It's dangerous out here. Uh, you know, Victor, you're a little patronizing. Well, sure you can, friend. But everyone needs a hand from time to time. Maybe you return the favor one day. Wait, did you open fire on Good Springs? See you around, buckaroo. Hmm, okay, 11 points is not really a lot. Kinda difficult. Lady killer, intense heave ho, quite an arm. All thrown weapons fly farther and faster. Okay, we can take that. We can offset the trait we have. I guess I'll take his stuff and sell it. Oh, crap. I, I can't believe they hit me with the... Uh Friendly fire dynamite. Rest in peace, Doc Mitchell. Cattleman cab. Ooh, I like that. Taking easy Pete's hat, his memory will live on within us. A good look you're fucked if you see the shadow you see this silhouette appearing through the dust walking towards you you're screwed oh joe cobb's hurt damn running low on smokes again no.
Never gets old when something blows up. Never gets old when something blows up. Never gets old when something blows up. Am I right, boys? Joe, maybe go take a break. I don't know, like a nap or something. What is that? He doesn't even look injured. Like, he looks like he's imitating a zombie. Damn. Running low on smokes again. The Powder Gangers are only concerned with two things. The amount of smokes that they had and the amount of explosions they've seen that day. If they can fill their quota with both, they're always happy. Who the hell are you? Good Spring Settler is fleeing? No, he's not. He's gyrating on the bar stool. Those aren't even close to the same thing. Why must this game lie to me? I won't make any trouble for the game. Just let me keep my store and I'll cut you a little discount. All right, you want to play Caravan? You better not win. You better let me win. Can do. Nah, he won't have any cash. Take it easy now. Well, on the bright side, since we're now friends with the Powder Gangers, that probably means we can travel a bit safer on the highway. We've done ourselves a favor. We have a good amount of weight we can still carry. We've got a lot of explosives. That's all good. That's not going to be worth much. Get out of here. I could go to the school. We go to the school. Hit the... What do we have? There's like a lock. Yeah, we can definitely lockpick. There's the safe in there. Since we tagged lockpick, I should be able to open it. Thank you, Colin, sir. Wow, over a year already. Time flies. Tweak around the 360. Thank you very much for the tier one. Thank you for a year. Well, over a year, you're at 13. A lot of caravan players are NCR, so don't piss them off that much. Okay, well then, if they don't want me to piss them off, then they just can't win. Simple as that. Oh, well, what's going on? Hold on, I'm not used to this. That's a really large correction. I'm not used to the uh, mechanics. I'm not used to them changing on me. I'm used to my I'm used to my Skyrim lock picking mechanics. I know they're the same, but trust me, they're 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 slight differences. Nothing, nothing. Losis Smokes, thank you for the prime. You need to get a caravan. Did not know that was there. I got another one, another programmer's digest. My science isn't even high enough for the Programmer's Digest to give me anything. I'm not washed at lockpicking. Don't even start suggesting it. That's actually treason, okay? Reporting you to the high Twitch command. Oh, let's test this bad boy out. We're gonna have some tutorial geckos right over the hill. We've got Barton and Thorn. Are the tutorial geckos not here if you don't come with Sunny? Have I wasted XP? <gasps> no. How could I miss out on XP? What have I done?
Well, what about the Good Spring Settler? Don't forget Snow Globe. Um, at the cemetery? Whoopsie. Whoopsie. I'm well past it. That's all right. We can come back for it. There he is. Barton Thorne spotted. This guy's a scam artist. 3% chance I like those odds. Oh, we nailed him. <laughs> now we surrender. Okay, now he's a little bit weaker. Where, whoa, where did that come from? Hello? Can you help me? Sure, yeah, no problem. My girl is trapped by geckos on the ridge, and I can't get to her. Please, she's going to die. Go up the path, past the broken radio tower, and go to the right. They're at the top of the trail. You will? Thank you for helping me. Please hurry. Don't worry, Barton, I got this. I'll save your girlfriend. I'm a hero. The hero of Good Springs, and now the hero of Barton Thorn. What is it? Up here, and then loops around? I'm not scared of nothing. What's that? It sounded like I heard growling. I think it was just background noise. Oh, look how cute the geckos kind of are. I always forget. I mean, they they are a little bit adorable. Like, not that adorable, but they, they have some charm to them. He's not tricking me. That's an honest fellow. I bet I could kill him from here, though. You think this hits him? Oh, my God. That went nowhere. Whoa, whoa, they're getting close. I can't use explosives from close range. Getting cover. Where the hell did Barton Thorn go? I think he disappeared. Well, that gecko's crippled. Target down. Okay, this thing is just inconsistent. Two down. Arc it. What a shot. I'm automatic with this thing. That one's moving in quickly. Oh shit, there's a lot of them. Now we can probably fist fight the last one. I think we got three. Woo! I feel bad. Look how sad he. Oh no, <laughs> he looks so sad. That poor fella. I don't want to kill him. I'm not going to kill him. Okay, look. Hey, I didn't mean to. Look, I... Is it? Was that your brother? Oh, <laughs> this poor guy. Mm. 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 Hey. Okay. Yeah, go back to being sad. Mm. Mm. Poor guy. What kind of journey will he go on? <laughs> what kind of journey will the sad gecko go on? Uh-oh. He's turned on us. Maybe not. Hey, wait a minute. Have I been bamboozled by Barton Thorn? God, 
not a bear trap. What's a worse punishment for Barton Thorne? Me killing him? Or me leaving this gecko alive so that Barton Thorne never materializes again into the game world? Because right now Barton Thorne is wiped from existence. He does he's not real. Is I wanna I wanna know if the gecko We can target limbs with the spears. He's got to be crippled in some way. Is it his head? No, it's both legs. Okay, so if you want to have the sad gecko walk, <laughs> you need to cripple both of their legs. Sorry, bud. I couldn't watch it anymore. I felt evil. Where is he? hell is Barton Thorne? Is he dead? Did my grenade that I shot over the mountain kill him? I didn't get any XP. This is ominous. Oh, there you are. You bastard, don't scare me like that. Disarm. Hey, 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 whoa. Come on. Okay, I can get the spear back out. Oh, I'm so slow. I did hit the pistol, but it's not gone. Okay, Thank disarm. You, kind of sir. Yeah. No, you can't have a secondary. <laughs> a secondary that does more damage. No, get rid of the gun. Crap, I'm out. I need to get more spears. It's actually really fun disarming people with them. Fall back to some cover. I thought that grenade was going to kill me. The important thing is that we're alive. Single shotgun, it's cash, we'll take it. Wasteland Settler outfit. I do like plus one endurance. And I do like the look of that outfit. Easy Pete Enjoyer, thank you very much for the prime. How are you? I have bad news about Easy Pete. Okay, y'all think I can get that gecko from here? Surgical. He is zooming. Look at him go. Okay, I got to stop wasting these. It's nighttime. It's scary. It's dark. The music is getting ominous. Wait, okay, Wacko Llama, that little emote that you just sent of the people running, I want that, but with the geckos. Someone out there, get on it. Now. I need that little hack to work in all these.
I don't know why. Normally, whenever I close the door to my office, it gets really hot in here. I don't know where today it is freezing cold. Like my hands are <sighs> freezing my ass off. This place always scared me. Ooh. Oh, we don't have 50. Our lockpick's fairly high. I'd like to get that. Uh, where's that star bottle cap? Give me that. Key? Hell yeah. I want to get the boxing tape. If I'm going to go with my secondary being punching, we should take the boxing tape for now. Damn, running low on smoke. I know, you can really fit in. If you just start smoking cigarettes, you're already halfway to being a powder ganger. I really should stop wasting this. It's fun, though. Do I smoke? I don't. Unless I'm hanging out with my uncle. Who likes to... He likes to smoke. Every now and then, if we've had a couple cocktails, I'd be like, right, I'll go... I'll go have one with you. But not very often. That's like... Maybe twice a year. You Damn, me? running low on smokes again. They have nothing else to talk about. What else do powder gangers talk about? I feel like they're so irrelevant. Like, you think when Joe Cobb became the leader of the powder gangers, he ran on a platform of unlimited cigarettes? I think that would be it. You could take over the powder gangers if you just promised them lifetime cigarettes. They have to let me in, right? We're cool. We're chill. Get these dudes some smokes. Wait, I have smokes. I've got a carton of cigarettes. I've got cigarette packs. I'm a high roller. Look at you. Walking in here like you're one of us. Don't you know this is powder ganger territory? Yeah, all right. Figure you could help us out the way you helped out Cobb's crew over in Good Springs. About damn time. Yeah, whatever. What'd you do for work today? Uh, I joined a gang. Fictional, but they do smoke cigarettes. I'm already causing problems. <laughs> I'm the new guy. Clean that up. Clean that up, rookie. Does anyone here play Caravan? If they do, then the fate of the Powder Gangers relies on their skill. Dawes said he let somebody in. So you going to give me a reason not to kill you and throw your body back outside? Oh, relax, Eddie. This is Powder Ganger territory. My territory. Most of the guys around here understand that. One. Chavez doesn't. No one here plays Chavez Caravan? Good. That means I'm the best Caravan player home. in Everybody I've sent after in the Powder Gangers. Or weren't able to catch him. That leaves you. What do you say? Good. Chavez and his boys were last seen south of here. If you're lucky and he's careless, he might still be there. Yeah, get out of here. I fought the law in the law one. I fought the law and the law won. Hello. Who sings that song? I'm trying to remember what game it was in. 
I want to say okay, this is going to sound really obscure, but I want to say that that song was in Lego Rock Band. <laughs> it, it, was it in? Can someone look that up? Was it in Lego Rock Band? Why is everyone an ass? I don't know. Everyone's rude. All right, these are the guys we got to deal with. Can I get can I get this dynamite over there? There's Chavez. Chavez and his goons. Again, another word ruined by the modern internet. <laughs> Goon used to just mean one of these guys. Now it's taken on a whole different definition. You just walked into the wrong camp, my friend. Hand over everything you've got and we might let you live. Dude, I'm with you. Letting you just walk away isn't how it works, I'm afraid. What the hell? How dare you take away my decision? Oh, this is bad. This is bad. <laughs> this is not good. Wrong strategy. Okay, you know what? Just kill me. I want to redo this. My game actually crashed. I was just getting done saying how my game never really crashes all that much. <laughs> I, I deserve it. I deserve that one. I would be rude too if the world was destroyed and everyone and everyone is trying to kill you. Well, I'm not, I wasn't even trying to kill them. Like I'm with the powder gangers, you know, I helped you, I helped you out. No, this is good though. This is good. I want to redo that. Oh, I did it. I'm never going to be good at that little speed running, skip jumping. You have to like land, jump and wiggle. There we go. There we go. Ooh, I had it a couple times there. You have to like stop moving and then do it. Okay, okay, okay. Change of plans. I've got my stealth boy. Let's throw that on. They'll never see it coming. Zero. Hit the guy in the middle. Oh my gosh, there's no way I can't hit him too. Fine, I'll get even closer. Stop moving. We go. How is it still zero? 48. 46. For some reason, zero, but then we'll come back and we'll hit the middle. Invisible cowboy dynamite stick. Chavez is closing in, but we have two down. Let's swap to our grenade rifle incredibly slowly. Thank you, kind sir. Get them all. Yes, we even got the one sleeping. What? I mean, we threw what? One dynamite stick and we fired off one grenade. That's really good value. Return on investment, huge. Give me that. Oh, a little dino toy. That's cute. Protect me, Cone. Good to see you again. Thank you very much for 10 months. I'm having fun. Oh, five dynamite. Yes. I'm having a good time. Uh-oh. 
Somebody call the police. If I play caravan again, though, I'll probably revert back to having a bad time. Oh, I, I, I'm getting it a little bit. It's like, it's like you have to, you need forward momentum, you jump and then you release moving forward, wiggle and jump. Like that was a good one. I just launched forward. There we go. I can only ever get one. One, two, three. Oh yeah, okay, new high score. What's the strat in terms of this character? Well, we're running a very, we're running like a minimum intelligence explosive build. A charismatic dumbass who's good with blowing hey. shit up. I wanna say this gets us to level two or three. I've been thinking that since you've been good to us, we can be good to you. We've got plenty of spare powder and dynamite around. Say the word and we can give you some of it every couple days. That's what I'm talking about. Powder for like, I guess making ammo. I'm happy you cleared that up for me, but we've got another situation to worry about. There's a merchant hanging around near the prison. Something feels funny about him and I want you to deal with him. Shake him down if he's legit, but if not, take him out. Okay, so we're gonna have to kill him. We're out at the moment. Yeah, get out of here. Uh, suspicious Martian. Oh, this just takes us back to Gene skydiving. He's NCR. He's scouting out the place. Better be careful around these parts. It's the exact same, same voice actor as the guy we just talked to. Like me. Hey, wait, wait, hey, wait a minute. Aren't you the leader of the Powder Gangers? We just talked. What are you playing at? This is Powder Ganger territory. You better pay up. It's about time one of you guys showed up. I've been waiting long enough. The NCR will probably give me a nice bounty for your corpse. Dude, there's like, there's like four... There's like four powder gangers right behind you. Why didn't you take care of them? Unless he already killed them. All right, I need to go full powder ganger. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I could play stupid. Wait, there's a bounty on powder gangers? What? I thought I was joining a, a nice crew, a club. That was very, you know, adamant on dynamite for mining and, you know, powder for smithing ammunition to go hunting. No, but there ought to be. I'm just taking the initiative is all. Not a whole gang or anything, just two, maybe three. I was a caravan guard, so I know how to handle a gun pretty well. Nope, not going to be that easy. Okay, let's rotate around. Oh, there are powder gangers back here. What are you doing, fellas? T two arms, men. I'm not gonna waste. Don't tell me you're running away. Are you running away? Oh, direct impact to his dome. <laughs> it just hit him in the head. Why are they running? I should take them out for desertion. Hey, the slowest weapon switch animation of all time. Get it pulled out. There's no way I hit this, right? It's worth a try. Ha! Ah! <laughs> Terrible throw. Come on. You got this. Maybe we go over the top. Oh, he flanked. That was kind of smart. Okay, I'll give him that. That, not a great bounce. Okay, he's almost dead. He's gonna shoot twice, then he has to reload. Okay, let's, let it, let's get him to shoot two more times. Now we push. Yeah, 
Yeah. Right in his dick. Finish him. Mm. Oh my god, die! Like that. There's my level up. Do we go nuts to butts? Explosives 50? Maybe we go unarmed 25. 45 explosives. Be a little incremental with it. And... I gotta be honest, I don't really know. Speech? I mean... Maybe... I guess I can just throw the remaining two pity points on explosives. Unreal. You should be embarrassed to yourselves. Both of you. Yeah, walk of shame. You eyeballing me? Of course I am. You selfish, cowardly prick. Of course I'm eyeballing you. At least I get to take all the credit. That's the only positive out of this. But yeah, my int is one. We went bottom tier intelligence. I gotta say though, our damage output is pretty good for playing on hard. Like it's not bad at all. The dynamite hits. I feel like the splash damage from the dynamite is really good in vats. It could be a 30% and I'm still getting a hit. It's good for crippling. What? What do you mean what? You sent me on a job. Okay, see, this is why we go low in. The merchant was a bunny hunter, not bounty. That's silly. Good. Had him figured for NCR. I think that's the first the typo I've noticed. Anyway, speaking of the NCR, I need you to take a walk. Synchronized. Thank you very much. The NCR hasn't raised hell over How are a breakout, you? and I want to find out why. They're up to something. I could feel it. Papega throw. I love that. <laughs> I love that emote. Very good ad, Kenny. I know the NCR has troops near Prim, so talk to the locals and find out if any of those troops are going to be coming our way. They are. Yeah, get out of here. I really want to just see if we can get to the point where Eddie likes us. Uh, do you trade? I think this is a doctor. Heard there was a new face around. I'm the doctor around here. Sort of. Freshener of the Wasteland. One explosive cinnamon stick at a time. The dynamites do look like cinnamon. Don't, do, we can't be talking about cinnamon because then I'm going to go on some rant about my favorite cinnamon based treats. Life and then I get hungry. This shouldn't be. But man, I, I, okay, real talk. Hello. How would you all rank the following? Churros, cinnamon rolls, waffles. I know it's not cinnamon based, but it can be involved. Waffles, churros, cinnamon roll, Big red gum. <laughs> okay, how would you rank the following? Waffles, churros, cinnamon rolls, and big red gum. How you ranking those? Just put cinnamon in coffee. I have had cinnamon flavored coffee. It's very good. It's a, it, I, or it was like, 
It was like Cinnabon. Which, is there a difference between a cinnamon roll and a Cinnabon? Or is Cinnabon just really good branding to sort of like gentrify the cinnamon roll market? I don't know if that's the right use of the word. But like, did Cinnabon just kind of break into the cinnamon roll market? Hostile takeover succession style? And be like, no, nah, we're going to make people call them Cinnabons. Kind of like how a lot of people call regular cola, they just call it Coke. Calling tissues Kleenex, right. Yeah, it's like a hostile lingo takeover. I wonder if there's a product. What if we made a product that did that? Something to think about. Velcro? Well, hold on, hold on. We're, we're losing sight of the original conversation we started on. Churros, waffles. So, although I'm more interested in hostile takeover branding names. Stop getting me distracted. Only focus on dynamite. What a throw. What an incredible throw. No bounce. Just landed perfectly. Can we get this? Is this this is too distant? Velcro was the first of its kind in terms of hook and loop style soft adhesives. Well, then I, I feel like Velcro kind of deserves that name, right? <clears throat> if Velcro was the first, like Cinnabon wasn't the first cinnamon roll. Velcro was a pioneer in the industry. Because before Velcro, what did we have? Uh, I don't really know any type of knot. What kind of knots are there? Uh, oh, you took my XP. There's no way we can hit a moving target like that. He's moving at mock speed. Unless I can predict where he's going to end up. I mean, that's an incredible throw. You can't free ball any of these throws, though. It, it's just like, yeah. Oh. That thing rolled like a bowling ball perfectly. Okay, he's closing in. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Why is this so good? It's like the dynamite moves in real time, but the enemies stay slowed down. Twenty-eight percent. It's still gonna hit. Oh, close enough. And that one even—it bounced above his head. It hit him like a flat cannon. Let's get the boxing tape favorited. You just go to town right on his lower jaw. We go okay he's out that's how you do it that's how it's done If the enemy is knocked out, can you pickpocket? Aren't there also a bunch of clothes that are more known as a brand? Uh, I'm trying to think. Like a, okay, if I had to guess a poncho, if I had to guess any type of clothing that was a thing before a brand ended up taking the name of it, I would say poncho. That would be my guess. Ah, hey, polo. Where the hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. Crocs. Yeah, but Crocs were a pioneer. Were, were, did Crocs exist before Crocs? Be careful. He's in a tent down the road.
In Britain, some people call all types of vacuums hoovers. I feel like that checks out. I'm gonna get good at this. I'm Sergeant McGee of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion. Dude, that's how Gun. I feel right now. If you want to talk about something, speak to Lieutenant Thank you, Hayes. kind sir. Moms call all game systems Nintendo. Not my mom. She knows about gaming. Okay, she's a gamer. She understands. She calls everything Xbox. Different, but also similar. Legit popsicle stick. Thank you very Thank much for six time, months, sir. half a year. I appreciate it. How did you? Kalash Dash, howdy right back at you. How are you? No, she's not actually a gamer. I remember one time, actually, really random story. I was very, very young at the time, and I had rented from Blockbuster uh, Twisted Metal, and Thank I kept losing. Sir. I was getting my ass worked in Twisted Metal, and I was getting really upset at it, you know, to the point of, like, tears, and my mom played multiplayer with me to show me how bad she was at the game and why I should stop being so upset. And I'm pretty sure she was better at the game than I was. Honestly, I, I think she was better. <laughs> I think she did better than me. I was like seven, eight, maybe. I don't remember how young I was. Have you ever played the Outer Worlds? I have. Patrol in the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. I'm Lieutenant Hayes of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. What's your business? You couldn't have a cooler title, but say it with less enthusiasm. Yeah, I'm the uh, General Sergeant Master Easy Company out of the West Coast Division branch of uh, Super Badassery. Yeah, it's... I don't really like being here all that much. Military operations are classified information. The brass is familiar with the situation at the NCRCF. We were sent out here to hold back the tide of convicts from the correctional facility. As you can probably tell, we aren't doing the kind of job we could be doing. The mission isn't a problem. The problem is with supplies. The convicts are better armed and organized than our intel initially suggested. I'm trying to get some reinforcements here, maybe some guns with some firepower, but shit. Things are just going slow. Not much. They got organized faster than I would have thought. Thankfully, the small group in town here seemed to have split off from the main force, so they aren't getting anything in the way of support. You guys are getting worked by a bunch of, like, junkies with dynamite. Are you sure you should have that cool title? I don't think I'm going to get the information. Do, does he have, like, plans on him that I can pickpocket? Ah, he does. Military orders. All right, we need to somehow get the military orders off of him. I don't want to kill him, though. This is why save scumming was invented. Da -da. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> First try. Nice. Now I can feel cool about what I just did. Lieutenant Hayes, you and your men are ordered to secure the area around Prim in preparation for the assault on the prison. Recon indicates that the powder gangers are lax in their defenses and should quickly fall to a surprise assault. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. All right, if, Eddie's, if Eddie doesn't like me after this, then I may have to kill him. But I don't know if I can kill off my first friends. You know... Ooh. Hey, didn't know anyone would willingly walk into this place. Not unless they were looking for trouble. What's your story? Do you not like being a powder ganger? Are you not about that lifestyle? I'm starting to question your loyalty, Myers. What? 
You've got trouble. The NCR are planning a raid on this place soon. Okay, I think I've done this quest, and I think as soon as I click this, the attack just begins. Sounds like they're already here. There's no way I'm letting them take me alive. Okay, this is There's actually no a really tough for you to fight. Stick around and help us, but feel free to kill a few of the bastards on your way out. Really? I have no time to prepare. It's actually a it's a massive attack. I've got dynamite. But damn, this is going to kill so many powder gangers. I have no range. Can I get up here? Do we have the range here? Yes. Come on, throw that shit. Nice toss. If I can cripple all of them, I can keep my men alive. Huge. All right, I think we've shored up that front. Okay, they've got a few over here. He looks alone, so I don't think we'll hit friendly fire. Good enough. Cripple him. Group of two over here. If we can cripple both, they'll be debuffed. It's way too good. It's so good. Come on. Give me both these kills. I need the XP. Okay, I'm getting shot up a decent amount here. Make sure we can keep ourselves alive. Two stim packs. I'm okay with burning them. Mentats. Not bad. We'll take Mentats. We'll take some Medics just in case we get in trouble. I don't want to kill that Powder Ganger on the stairs. Okay, he's alone. You're dead. What do you, I don't know what you think you're doing. The most dangerous man out here. Okay, they killed the Powder Ganger on the stairs. See if we can hit the guy in back. That'll kill both. No, don't push! Don't push up! Only got one. Oh, terrible throw. How the hell do I not get XP for that kill? Did we win? I'm gonna need some NCR armor. Because they hate me. I also really need to sell my stuff. I desperately need to sell things. hate having low repair like uh we got to cut down on weight though too many copies i'm surprised the last time i remember doing that we got overwhelmed to the point where the ncr pushed all the way in here unless explosives are just that good I think I was playing on very hard on the casual playthrough I was doing. Not half bad in a fight, are you? I figure you had a lot to do with me still breathing after all that. I carried. I, I did everything for you. But feel free to stick around as long as you want. You never know when the NCR will be back. We're 
He's still like, yeah, get out of here. Screw off. So I think that's it. Is that the whole powder ganger? What are you looking at? Maybe Scrambler has something for me. Why? It's because I mess up people so bad they don't know what part goes where when I'm done. Oh my god. Everybody with a mohawk in these games, I swear, they always say the dumbest shit. They're always so edgy. Uh-huh. Scrambler. That was close. I really need to find some nice, quiet place to settle. Yeah, he doesn't have anything to sell. We could probably make our way back to Chet. Oh, rest in peace. You fought hard. It's nice to be surrounded by powder gangers that don't run away from combat immediately. Yeah, we'll take that. We'll repair it up. I do need to head back to chat, though. Why am I vilified in Good Springs? The Powder Gangers own this place. You looking to buy some supplies? Can Sweet, he got his ammo back. Or his money. Gone, gone, gone. Get out of here. Service rifle, don't need it. Now we gotta find, does he have any... Sucks. He's got dynamite, but that's about it. Ooh, boxing gloves. Can you repair boxing gloves with boxing tape? We'll find out. I'll buy them. Pleasure doing business with you. No, you can't. That kind of sucks. The boxing tape is better anyway. Who does permission to laugh reward give permission to laugh? The purchaser of permission to laugh is given permission to laugh. So if they see something that they think is funny, before any air exits their nose, they have to buy permission to laugh. Otherwise, we have high-tech AI that will read through your screen, be able to tell, and it will vaporize you on site. We're a very forward thinking stream. We have technology like that. don't know if I can cook much. Yeah, I can't cook shit. You have to have, like, survival 50 before you can start making anything that's decent. Hello there. No, 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 no. Almost took you for a raider, I did. You woke me up while straight. sleeping. I've been following you for a good bit now. Okay, you're a dangerous sort. I get that, but I have some information I think Who you'll does find that? useful, which made me follow you for a spell. It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. Yeah, this is getting creepy. He's a creep. Fine, just do me a favor. If you find more of those things and plan on keeping them. Watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed more than a few people to collect as many of those caps as he can. And your ignorance as to what they are won't protect you. Holy 
Holy shit! He deserved that for waking me up from my slumber. I was getting my beauty rest. <clears throat> Could you imagine how good you would sleep after killing Malcolm Holmes? Ah. <laughs> uh, <sighs> Oh, I feel so refreshed and not being followed. Ugh. Mm. Wonderful. Your skin starts to clear up. Your pores are cleared. Mm. Wow. Oh. Oh. Feel good. Get that monkey off your back. No more. No stalker. That would be weird, though, Thank like you if you just sir. got woke up in the middle of the night. How would you sleep the next night? That'd be terrifying. Oh, relax, it's a figure of speech. Timing. Apologies, yeah, timing, not great. Oh shit, okay, hold on. NCR in here. Wait, when did I get rid of the... Did I sell it off? I don't really want to kill the NCR in here. Or do I? Will they know it was me? It depends if he opens fire. We'll see. When I got this assignment, I was hoping there'd be more gambling. That's you, chat. Every time you guys join the stream, that's all of you. And I was hoping I joined this stream. I was I was hoping there'd be more gambling. Don't deny it. Am I a powder ganger? I am a power ranger. They seem chill though. I'm vilified, but they're not attacking me, so. Are these guys hostile? Are these like a different faction of powder gangers? Oh, they are hostile. Come on now. Come on. I'm running a bit low. We still have two, five, 17 explosions. Where did you come from? How <laughs> did he get so close? He closed the gap real quick. Uh, this is gonna kill me, isn't it? And we need a, oh, I know what to do. Or do I know what to do? Where, are you, where is he going? I don't know why he did that. He gave up on the fight. Made it easy on me. What? What? Have I underestimated the power of fallen light poles? Z it was right next to him. 
All right, jackass. There you go. You can't run away from the laws of physics for that long. He, we injured his leg. I think they lost their weapon as well. Close the gap. Bring out our primary weapons. Oh, okay. I got I got finesse there. I got bamboozled. He brought me in close. He can't hit me. Okay, he goes down. It's actually a bit of a disappointment. Okay, unreal strategy. That's so sick. We keep, you know, just incremental on unarmed. Five on explosives every time, little bit on unarmed. Can you give chat some mewing motivation? Uh, I can motivate them to not listen to any of those dipshits. I don't know. I'm just gonna dump both of them again. You love my voice, Mayor of Mayo? Really? You know, I'll tell you, my, my voice used to be like the number one thing I used to be very uh, self-conscious of. I got no perks, we got Cannibal. Confirmed Bachelor probably isn't a bad play. If the act is witnessed, it's considered, yeah, I guess, I guess cannibal, right? Have I died yet? I haven't. I haven't actually. We've been playing some pretty high level Fallout New Vegas. I'll go confirmed bachelor. Is it weird that I'm sitting with my, <laughs> I'm sitting with my right leg crossed over my left leg, left leg right now. It's a good stretch. I can do that now without having the green screen right behind me. I have noticed though, not having the green screen, the physical screen backed up all the way towards me. I think it makes my posture way worse because before I had to like, kinda focus in like this. I've also in like the four years I've had this chair, it's a good chair, but I don't know if I've been using like the posture meta with this chair. No fuzzy slippers today, no. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Yeah, but that means something interesting. Oh. I know the rules now. You think you have what it takes, kid? I hope you don't. Everyone's life in this godforsaken casino depends on it. Now the rules of this run. If I beat him in caravan, everyone lives. If Johnson Nash is a coward and he beats me in caravan, he dies and there's no going back. I raise you. Okay, I'm not I'm not betting that much, but I'll play a decent amount on this hand. 335. So I don't know the caravan strategies of what cards you should be holding. I feel like I should hold more than one jack.
Well, which which other cards? Okay, is the top one? Oh, the top one is my caravan deck. Okay, so I have three jacks in my deck. I like that. Three queens, three kings, and two jokers. Three tens, two nines, two eights, four sevens. I don't really have any complaints there. Having multiple jacks, though, I feel like is pretty solid. Lots of threes. I guess you do got to have similar numbers. All of our aces. Queens suck. Queens allow us, though, to reverse our order. We can change to ascending or descending, which could be good. So maybe we remove one queen and we add in a jack. So now we got two queens. Let's play. And naturally, we land with a queen. I'm not going to play my hand with the kings yet. He may have a jack. Ooh, I don't really know how we start this. Three would take us to 26 with two kings. Wait, hold on, hold on. Hmm. He can still jack us off if we have two kings. Like if we went three, then king, then king, that's at 27, which means we bust. But if we play our good cards earlier, he could jack us off. And we don't want that. <laughs> But okay, I'm talking about the card game. I'm talking about the card game here. <laughs> Clip farming, is that what it's called? When you intentionally walk into faux pas like that, is that what it's called? I'm not against playing a 10 though. Right? Ooh, we could play ascending three. Hold on, hold on. I, I need to clarify the rules. If I play a three, can I play a five after it, right? Or does it have to be in descending? Okay, it can be ascending. Then we'll play one of our threes. Seven. Seven with two kings goes to 21. But we I think we need to hold our kings until later. This is so hard. I don't necessarily know if I want to catch myself. Well, we have our queen. We can reverse direction again if we need to. Really? Interesting. Okay, so we got him to... We got him to get rid of one of his jacks. Three, hold on, let me think for a second. If I go on, uh, if I, on my first hand, if I go seven king king, I think that takes us to 24. Or with the middle hand as well. He's going to play another jack. Okay, he's down two jacks. He 
He clearly doesn't like the 10, so we throw another 10 back out there. Or ascending, this one's at 20, 10, five. We can be done with that first hand. We aren't really setting up the other ones though. We're just gonna have to, we, we can save our kings for the ones that are blank, double up. We wanna save both of our kings. Let's go 10. Oh, he can play that? I didn't know that you could play kings on their cards. So now I need a jack. And he cancels out. <sighs> Shit. Well, we gotta start getting some cards on the board. We can go four. A four with two kings only gets us to 16. I need more than that. I think I got a discard. Kings exclusively for offense. So then maybe we hold on to our kings to use them. We're going to have to save them to screw him over. I need a better card, though, than four. All right. I mean, I guess, you know, we can build up from four. I haven't had that many high cards. Let's just get some points on the board. Okay, I'm not sure what he's playing at here, doubling up these kings. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like his strategy all that much. Crap. Well, we can build up five after four. He's doing it again. What are you doing? Why he keeps stacking kings. I'm all the way up to 90 points on this hand. Johnson, you are putting everyone in here at risk. I need a jack. Do I need, do wait, do I need three jacks to get rid of all? No, I can get rid of the, I don't know. Can I play a jack to get rid of the whole entire row? Don't tell me. I'll let the game break my heart. Seven goes to 16. If I can pull a 10, that one goes 26. He's going to try to play a queen on Boneyard so that he can reverse and probably play a 10 or something. I can play 21 and we at least have middle hand closed out unless he decides to screw us over again. Oh, I can't go that way. Wait, I can? It's a heart. Play it. All right, what do jokers do? <laughs> I don't remember what jokers do. Does anybody remember? They pull a funny prank. That doesn't help me. Thank you, kind sir. Would you rather play five hours of Caravan or five hours of Gwent? I actually haven't played Gwent, but I'm looking forward to when we do. Uh, wait a minute. If I play Joker on the Kings, you said Jokers remove all cards of that value except the one it is played on, or all cards of the same suit if played on an ace. So is there a way I can play my Joker that will eliminate Kings? They can't be played on face cards. Can I remove the 10? Nope. Shit. I could remove his ace. I could remove this eight. I need to go on the offense a little bit. 
Yeah, I think we get rid of his eights. It only got rid of that one. And now I'm back to a four. Four plus king plus king. Again, that's only 16. If I play a queen on three, I think that means he has to play in descending order unless he has a heart. So on Boneyard, he can only play a two or he could play a queen, but I think it would force his hand into re-engaging with that stack. He's already won that row. I don't really know. This is tough. I think we need to let's let's see what he does. Let's start our run on the third column. OK, he took away my seven. I haven't gotten a single jack to drop. This sucks. Kings won't do anything on an ace either. He played ace on three, so now he can reverse again. He's still interested in playing that first hand. I think it should have gone with the queen. I think we play our ace here. Ace of clubs. This is really hard. We can also play ace there. Interesting. Can I discard the entire left stack? Should have done that earlier. I'm going to play both my kings on his three. Then that hand busts. Okay, he cleared out the whole hand. I like it. Now we're playing some offense. Okay. All right, we're playing a little bit of offense here. I think he really likes that ace. This is a whole new ball game. We can get up to 11 here, but that's a nine. I don't know if I really like playing this nine, although he went ace nine. And I'm going to assume that the AI knows a little bit about playing this game. So we're just going to match his move. However, I know he doesn't have the jacks for it. Okay, sweet. He went 9-2. So he's going and descending there. I feel like I'm still holding these queens and I'm not sure where to go.
Uh, maybe we go with a two. No, can't play a two there. We can play a two there. I think if you play the same number, you can reverse direction. That only brings us to 16. I think I'm going to discard a queen. Eight. Okay, why is he playing jack to get rid of a two? What's the fear of two? Can I play a card on here for him? No. All right, so this is still descending. Can't play that eight. I think we play our queen here and then we play our eight. Twenty-two. I got too many aces. He's doing a lot of discard action. Can't play there. Can't play there. Can't play there. So then we go ace, two, four, seven. Seven, six, gives us 13 there. We can close out the first one. If I get this first column. Oh no, why can't I go seven? Wait, why? Oh, I can go, okay, I can go six because it's same suit, but apparently it's ascending, so I think we can still go. No, no, six would be descending. We can't do that. I can play here. Seven goes to 10. Six to 16, four to 20. Mm. <laughs> what happens if I play ace diamond here? Does that reset the order? And then I can climb again and I can do my six, seven play to close out that hand. Four on middle brings us to 26, but it's already at 22, right? If I get all of them to 22, then I win. I'm also running a little bit lower on cards. Six, seven on first column works. We'll try it. I'll trust you. We got another seven. No. Dick played a king. Ah, uh, he was waiting on it. Did we play our diamond seven? If I can pull a king. Jack? Okay, he's still burning through his kings. I can only play one jack to get rid of one king at a time. So I'm gonna go jack. And should get rid of his seven? Slow him down? And then I'll clear out my hand. And we got another jack. Oh my god, I could have played both jacks! I could have gotten rid of both kings! <laughs> I had a chance there! If I got rid of both kings... Mm, I can still win two of them, right? If I win two out of three, I win the game. We only have three points. Five feels pretty big. Five takes us to 12. Five, 
Seven plus eight takes us to 27 and we bust. <laughs> Unless we can play an ace in that hand. No. Hold on. If we play eight of diamonds, we can play ace of diamonds, which takes us to 21 in this hand. Played another smart jack. But I can play a 10 there, which takes it to 24, and it's back in the green. Give me the 10. Give me the ace. That's a winner. That's got to be a winner, right? No, he plays another jack. Okay. Johnson Nash is not fucking around. Jokers get rid of all cards that they're played on. Let's murder his aces. I kind of forgot that. I, I don't really know what that did. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> oh, I think I just screwed myself. I don't know what I did. King on 10 takes that hand to 21. Shoot. Oh my God, we got another Jack. Wait, the, oh, the Jack got rid of all of it. Okay, so the Jack cleared out that whole stack. He's back to 21 over here because he played a king. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide my king right in here. We have the third column. He's way overplayed in the third column. We can play nine in here, which brings it to 21. Yes, we can play that nine. Give me 21 over here. He's at 25 over there. Except what I'm going to do to this little dick that he didn't see coming. We're going to hit him with a jack and take that eight right out of there. You had to clear out that whole hand. Seven. Gets us to 17 there. Uh, does anybody know how I can get more cards? I am running out of cards. Seven to 18. No, I can't play the seven under 10. I can play a two. I don't know if that reverses direction though. Three here. Can't play it. Ace. Can't play it, can't play it. Can't really play my ace anywhere. So it all, I guess to, it kind of hinges on this, but if he has 10 cards left, I'm in trouble. He can kind of just do whatever he wants with 10 cards. I guess I'm going to try, I'm going to try to go two, three, seven on this hand and see what happens, but I think I lost. can't play it hold on wait uh i have to go seven ace three here and he plays the jack Takes out my one winning hand. 
That's the last of my cards. I think I just lose, don't I? Man, come on. Ha. Huh. Well, time to die. You should have thought of that before being better at strategy than me. That doesn't belong to you. Whoa. That didn't kill him. <laughs> he's, he's too powerful. All right, relax. It's all good. We're not in that much trouble. Sorry about that, Johnson Nash. Hey, youngster. Still hanging about Prim, huh? I love it. He keeps a positive attitude, even though I've destroyed his kneecaps. Bye. Hey, youngster. You want to get your ass kicked in another game of cards? Not really. No. I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick. But damn it. I'm actually really bummed. I was getting really into that. Okay, caravan is fun. I'm starting to get it a little bit, but the the meta is just sort of strategy of what cards and how to use them. It's hard. Nash is one of the hardest, is he? I feel like I did pretty well, though. Like, I, I didn't get he did not get to close out a single one of his hands. He only won because I ran out of, you know. I ran out of room, ran out of cards. I'll be back. Caravan is fun is an insane sentence to am I is it do people hate caravan because I'm sitting here like enthralled I was into it I was like trying to run all the numbers through my head look I'm bellatro pilled okay I am I'm bellatro brain anything sir. involving cards Hi. and molt and all that it just hits me Why are you guys betting on Caravan right now? I'm not playing Caravan again. Why would I play Caravan again? Oh, now you guys want to gamble on Caravan? Okay, I'll play. I'll play again. I'm getting into it. I'm getting way too into it, and I want to be Caravan. So, okay, maybe you don't know the rules of Caravan, which I still really don't either. 
but like now that I kind of understand a few of them, it's starting to click a little bit. Hey, youngster, still hanging about Prim, huh? I'm gonna kick your ass. Okay, wait, hold on. If Johnson Nash is one of the hardest, is there an easier opponent? Howdy. Like, is there somebody I can play that's not just gonna clean my clock? Who should I play? That's like close by. I'm not that far into the game. There's Ringo if he's still in Good Springs. Yeah, yeah, we, we can't. Uh... Mojave Outpost. All right, well, I mean, the Mojave Outpost isn't too far. Yeah, OK, we're going to go on an adventure. <laughs> I just want to go over there. Let's go over there just so we can play Caravan. I'm not interested in nothing else. Kind of surprised we got away with landmining Johnson Nash. Ringo got a spear to the face. Ringo got like five spears to the face. Oh shit, I forgot things still want to kill me in this game. I forgot I was playing a game <laughs> where people try to kill you and it's not just about playing cards. How could I forget? Luckily, I have the perfect loadout for this kind of play style. Just blow shit up. Oh. Wait, no, I was just greeting you. I really like playing cards. You know what I just realized? So, about a year ago, YouTube had this really weird thing where Fallout games specifically were getting hit with age restrictions because it kept thinking that the gore in Fallout games was like real gore or that it was just like too much. So it was age restricting a lot of stuff. And it's hitting me now that we don't have any dismemberment in our game and it's disappointing me. And I really wanna go turn it off right now. Oh, oh, incredible. The idiocy of that Jackal gang member to run across my dynamite. Why did I take a hammer? Thank you, kind sir. No, I won't even take. I hate the cowboy repeater. OK, I'll take it to sell it, but let it be known. I despise the cowboy repeater. I hate it. It's cumbersome. Roll, thank you for the prime. Let me see if I missed. Uh I miss any alerts in here? I think I did. Roll, thank you very much for the prime. Suda the Star, thank you for six months. Good to see you. Alien Kurt, thank you for 11 months. Moon Pie Guy, thank you for gifting one earlier. Encaged, thank you for the prime. I did miss a few of these. Sorry about that, y'all. It's not that bad. I just. Thank you, Karen, sir. I just don't like it. I hate the reload. I think the iron sights are lying. Come on. What a throw. It's the most deadly cinnamon stick you've ever witnessed. Nobody can stop me. The hell?
Cannot believe I survived. That was kind of cool, though. <gasps> no. Come here. Where are your friends? I think I could actually beat these in a fight. Who would win in a cage match? Me or five of these little mantises? Nine of diamonds. Do we like threes? Oh, wait a minute. I just realized. If I build a caravan deck of like the same suit, if they're all just hearts, then I can do whatever I want. No one could stop me. I'd never lose another round of caravan. Their wings kind of look like American flags. Maybe if the American flag was on LSD. I don't see it though. I see what you mean, though, with the stripes. Me versus Logan Paul in a cage match? Um, I would probably... Have you ever had one of those pretzel sticks? The salted snacks? If you ever snapped one of those in half again, that's probably a pretty good visualization of what that would look like. Say what you will about the, uh, about the Paul brothers. But physically, I'm getting <laughs> killed. I'm not making it out alive. Do I work out? Not as much as I should. Not nearly as much as I should. I try to occasionally. Which I guess is just sort of a long-winded way of saying no. That's like the gamer's version of trying to say not really. Like, oh, I gotta get back at it, you know? You used to, you used to crush it. Doing hang cleans. Maxing my squat press. Are there any caravan related perks in this game? That's all I care about. What the? Ah! Oh, okay. Uh, lots of damage. Oh, God, they're fast. Uh, if there was any time for me to learn that little speed running thing, now is the time. It won't work. No, 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 they're gonna take my kills. Terrible, terrible throw. Okay, at this point you can take my kill. Come on. Still got the XP. Hey there, need anything? Sure, here's what I got. Okay, if I spot any hearts cards, we're gonna be taking hearts. We'll make a hearts build. Long fuse dynamite? That just sounds terrible. Forty millimeter grenade plasma. I think.
think that's the grenade that I use, right? Yeah, 40 millimeter grenade. Ooh, okay, plasma grenades? And we're coming out of this making some money. With quite a bit of ammo, enough to get through several encounters. I'm liking this build. I am enjoying this build very much. Got plenty in here to get rid of too. Cigarettes. See what this bad boy looks like. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Won't a single suit deck just get whacked by an ace? Yeah, I guess so. I think that would, pr that, that would probably be it. Caravan based drinking game drink every time I lose you'll be hammered within a half hour All right, they don't really seem to mind me is it because They don't truly go full hostile until you reach that part in the story like the point of no return after you get the chip Who can we play? Hey. Come on, give me a reason. I just showed up here to play some cards. Caravan, citizen, pilgrim, or... Just need something for the logbook, keeping tabs on traffic throughout the outpost. Although mostly just in, not out these days. If you're looking for the commanding on... Also... Ah, alright, confirmed bachelor. You didn't tell me your name, Major Knight. Oh, uh, Knight. You must not be from around here. If so, doesn't do to get too friendly. Something wrong with asking your name, my fine lad? This isn't the Republic. Oddly enough, Legion's a little more forgiving about... friendships. Out here it's not as accepted. Not that I mind being friends, it's just being open about it in the outpost. Well, I have to work here. Yeah, is that a no? I would. Perhaps some other time. When my orders take me to Vegas, perhaps. I wish things were different, but might take some time. If you need something repaired, let me know. I can sign the work order. As long as caps change hands, I can put them back in yours. Sounds good. Cheap repairs. I don't think I really need it. Uh, Cass is not in here. Hey. It's like the wreck house. Barracks. I had a feeling that the game was about to crash. There was a weird little hiccup right before I left that place. And I just, you know, my, my spider sense. My crash sense was tingling. I should have taken that to turn gore back on. Got some nerve coming to an NCR outpost with that look about you. Hope you aren't here to trade. Not sure you can afford the prices. What, caravan? All right, I'll give it a go. Haven't exactly got much of a line of folks to serve. Let's do it. Bring it on.
I am. I assume I'm playing with the same deck as before. Let's get that extra nine in there. Get rid of a three. I don't know. We'll get the nine in there. It's a lucky 38 card. It's going to work. It's our good luck charm. Oh, that's why I lost last time. Oh, I, I'm not even playing with my... Wait, why, am I, why do I not play with all 52 cards? Cancel. Sure, whatever. I lose the money. I don't care about the money. All right? I care about winning. Background? Ah. That doesn't count. I'm not going to run out of cards. That's what sunk me last time was running out. Oh, wait, is there an all cards button? Just trust me. Trust, trust me. Here we go. Time to win. Okay, she opens with an ace. We match. With a two. She's going to start low. Let's match. Let's just mirror if we can. Six. We match. Eight. Uh, we could bust that first hand if we wanted to. Like, we could double up kings on the eight. No. Yes. Yeah, that would take the hand to 30. But she probably still has jacks. She cancels the kings. And then we have some problems. Six, we could double up our kings, take it to 24. But I don't think it's good to burn our kings yet. Queen, I discard. Ace. Okay, she goes eight again. really have that many moves here we can go ascending ace two ace two six to nine three to seventeen Two, three. She's got that one at 24. Let's throw a king on her 10. Kill that hand for now. I have a feeling she's going to have a jack and cancel out our 10. Not quite. I'm going to double it. Now that hand's obliterated. She's got good scores. We could go seven, eight on this one, which takes us to, that's 15 plus nine, 26. I think she's gonna destroy our left hand though. I'm still gonna take it. We're gonna go seven, eight here. Okay. So she could use just one jack to get rid of that. We haven't seen any jacks yet, which isn't terrible. Sorry, eight takes us to 24. It'll at least force her to go on the offensive. We're tied on that hand. Okay. She's going in decreasing, so she can throw a two over there. We could play a queen, which then forces her to play an increasing hand. It reverses the order of that hand, so she'll be stuck at 24. It forces a tie. 
unless I can play my queen. Ooh. I think I have to play this queen on hers, though. We stop her until we get another queen reverse direction, and we can take our left hand. We could play a two or an ace to beat her score. There's our two. I have to be careful. She's about to close out that middle hand, and then the game ends. Joker gets rid of, rid of nines and hearts, doesn't it? I gotta trust my instinct. That didn't do anything. Crap, I'm gonna lose. Fuck. I got nothing. Mmm. I thought that the Joker would have done something. She's... Actually... If she has another two, or like a three of spades or something, then she could take the middle hand, but she can't close it out quite yet in decreasing order. She discarded. Yeah, she's looking for the card to close out that middle hand. Can't play my ace there. this one to 11 it's decreasing though i'll have to just see 10 she discards again yeah she's looking for that winning too it's got to be a spade or something she's a bit soft locked right now she's either looking to attack me or close out that middle one i just have to pray that my attack card lands first 10 to 24 We got a king. If we double her eight, that middle hand ends up going to... What's 19 plus eight? 27, that's a bust. It limits at 26, right? So if we play king on her eight of that middle hand, that middle hand goes 26. Ruin the first, oh, oh, you're right. We should ruin the first one because that one's already winning and she needs one specific card in that middle hand. We play a 10 or we we hit her 10 over here with the king. Booyah! That's what I'm talking about, baby. I am the caravan champion. Okay, all right, let's run it back. Background? Just my luck. What'll it be this time? Nice, okay, I like this game now. I've never really gotten into Caravan, ever. And now I am locked in. All right, go on, let's put our cards down. I gotta get my money back from that first loss. I guess I did make the money back, I've profited a little bit. Okay, okay. I'm still not quite sure what the Jokers do exactly. She's gonna go five. I'm gonna do the same strategy we did last time. Let's match. Or, timeout, no. I go my own way. We go three. And then we build up from the three. Okay, so she has to come descending now in that middle hand. We go three. Uh, we could go four, five, nine on the left. That definitely nets us enough. We go three, four, five, nine. Do I have two fives? I don't. So I think we'll play an eight. And then see which direction we want to switch or, or go to. Hold on to our king. Do we go eights on the outside?
Does anybody know what the... Could, could somebody real quick, if you put a joker on a card, it removes all the cards with the same number except itself. Got it. Thank you very much. So if I want to get rid of her tens, I play it on my ten. Boom. Understood. I'm tracking now. I'm locked in. So uh, I don't know if... I don't know if right eight is the play. We're going to keep four, five, nine on the left, which doesn't give us a lot of wiggle room. Let's let's play eights. See where we end up. See, I knew she's going descending up there. I'm going to give her that hand for now. We'll wait until we can just wreck her shit with the king. I mean, I figured, figured that's what she would do. Three, four, five to 12, and then nine gives us 21. Oh, you had to think there for a sec. She wasn't confident. Not a confident roll. 21, so we both got one closed out. And I like sitting here with eights. We can't go eight, eight. We could go eight, six, four. Double it with the king 26. We beat her middle hand. So we're going to go six. Where's she going? She's decreasing over there. If she's in decreasing order, she's kind of stuck with that, too, until she pulls the diamond. It's clicking now. Okay, okay, I see it. I see, do you see the vision? Oh, she got the diamond three, damn. It's actually kind of huge that she got that drop. Uh, whew. So I think I need to, I think I need to kill one of her hands because it looks like she's well on her way to beating my 21. If I take my king and double her up here on 10, she has to reassess that situation. There, she got the 25, figured she'd get it. I go queen on four, flip the direction, play an eight, that's 26. Wow, she hit 26. Okay, all right. I'm still gonna hit 26 in the middle. Do I, I think I kill hers first and see if she has an offensive move. We got two jacks, so we can kill off the 20. Let's kill off the 20. She hits to 16. Wow, she had that 10. And it's ascending, but she can't play another 10, so she's going to have to play a king on that 10. Ha! All right, all right, okay. Mm. I think she's cooking something up, though, to attack my middle. We go queen. Hear me out. Watch this. Watch this. You ready for some goat nonsense? We go queen. We go five on 21. Reverse order. 26. We win the left hand by one. Now she's at 25 in the middle. She's trying to tie. She's lost. She's in the blender. She doesn't know what's going on. Three, three. She has. Okay, hold on. Let's go joker. We go joker here. If I hit my three, I save my one three. I have no other threes on the board. That kills her threes on the left hand side. It takes that one down a notch. Ah, uh, no, I don't really know if we have to do that play. Hold on, time out. What other cards I could save? No, that's going to eliminate a five. 
I can play, no, I can't do eight. We can't go Joker on eight. We kill all the eights, we're fucked. Man, she gets a Joker and plays it on eight. We are toast. What else do we have? We've got, I'm literally standing, I'm standing. I don't care, I'm locked in. Okay. She likes that 11. She can't close out the third column without attacking us. So I think we put pressure. Oh, we also have a jack? No, no, we have to hold on to the jack to play defense. So we go here, eight. Let's go eight, descending, 15. We have that four. So if we pull anything under six, if we, if we pull a six or a five, we pull the four. She's going 19 over there, okay. Hold on, if she closes out the third one, does that mean she wins even though my score wins in two columns? No, that's not right. She can't close out that column. She's gotta play offense. Heart four opens up our heart ace, but that's only 20. Okay, hold on, I gotta sit back down, it's kinda hurting. <sighs> also, she's increasing. She has to play a queen and reverse that order. She's stuck at 19. No, oh, no, she can play. No, a nine. A nine brings her to 20. No, she can't do that. She can't play a nine on that column. She is going on the offensive on this next turn. So I'm gonna discard, I'm gonna discard a four. That's my move. And we're gonna discard the heart because, or the club, because we have the heart matching. Why would she do that? Why wouldn't you discard or play offense? I don't understand. Just my luck. What'll it be this time? Okay, now we're frying. This is awesome. All right, go on. Let's put our cards down. Look, she's losing money. She can only bet 216. You're a fraud, Lacey. You always have been. I'm the only caravan player the NCR knows. And there's a reason for it. Everyone fears me when my deck is laid on the table. When I flop my deck out, everyone stares at it. They look at the girth and the width as it sits on the table and rests before their eyes. Okay, we got a weird hand here. We got sixes. I think we could play a match, but I like starting nine or 10 and then descending. We got two nines. Let's start with a nine, nine. She plays nine, okay, I'll match you. Ooh, wow, and a 10. Okay, I don't like that very much. Can I joker? I don't want to sacrifice a nine at the same time as her. We could kill the 10, although apparently I can't select it. Four ascending, don't hate it, don't love it. I'd also like to save the four for any of my descending hands. So we go, uh... No, 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 wait. I like four more than six for a starting card. I need a 10. If I get a 10 on the field and I joker it, we're, we're in business. Let's go nine, six, four, five, or nine, six, five, four. Twenty five, okay. Would she play a six? Get out of here. Later. Get your sixes off the table. Get your sixes the fuck off my table. Okay? 
You think I come around? You think I play this game as a joke? You think you think I came here to just have some fun, Lacey? No, you fucked up thinking that. We go five, we go four. We throw up a mean little 24 on the left-hand side. She's playing 22. Don't like that she's about to have two winning hands. But we've got our jacks. I wish I had that joker now. Really wish I had that joker now that I've dropped a 10. Okay, we're going to go 4, 9, 10, ascending on the right-hand side, and then we're going to hit her with the jack so we can take the right column. She knows. She knows it's about to hit her like a cruise missile. What do we want to kill? We want to bring her down to 16. Yeah? Send the missile. Call for reinforcements. You're going to need rations. Okay, you want to kill my 10? Fine by me. Ah, you bastard. I don't have an ascending card over there. Damn, she... Okay, so she blocks me over there. We can go 9-8. Don't hate it, but what else do we... We have a king. Uh, I think we hold that king... Wait for something. Wait for an opportunity for the king to strike. 9-8. That takes us to 17. Plus 6. So we go 8-4-2 descending. Actually, 4 takes us right to 21. Another king. Now, here's where we launch the cruise missile. <gasps> Wait a minute. Game. That's game. That's all she wrote. <laughs> okay, we are officially in the black. We are 400 caps positive. And Lacey just doesn't know. She has no clue the financial blender that I put her in. Background? Just my luck. What'll it be this time? However, I, okay, here's, here's my thing. I need more of a challenge. I don't think she's playing face cards. Was she, was she playing face cards? Bring it on, Johnson Nash. I know what I'm doing now. I know how to play this game. He's already got his gun out. He knows. He's been waiting on my appearance. Hey, youngster. Still hanging about Prim, huh? Oh, my God. It's like every time he wins a hand of caravan, his face gets a new wrinkle. You think you have what it takes, kid? I know I got what it takes, old man. Look, this guy just plays for fun. He's only putting 116 on the table. That's how you know he's good. He plays modest amounts. He's smart. Why does he get to go first? I don't like that. Feels unfair. Let's get our 10 on the board early, just in case we pull Joker, we can wipe out his 10s. I'm gonna keep, tactically, I'm gonna keep one 10 on the board. I won't play any more 10s. Just because we're gonna go with the calculated assault on all of his 10s. Thank you, kind sir. 10, 8, 7. Oh, I have to play. Okay, we have to play our starting card. I don't like 4. I gotta play something here. Really? Really, Johnson? Douche. That's a dick move. Uh, we can still go 4, 6... Four, six, seven, eight on the right-hand side brings us pretty high up. And if he's going to burn his jacks early, I guess I'm... I guess I'm somewhat okay with that. So we'll go four, six. 
Keep it modest. Why are you playing a jack on a three? That I don't get at all. See, that's what this guy does. He throws me off like that. I think he's trying to take out my first card because it's a good starting card. 10, three, they're decent first cards to have in slot. So, I mean, let's get a nine out there. I think that's decent. We can either go, well, we have to go descending with a nine. He's going to play. What is going on? Throw a two out there. Two is a good starting card. He's playing another jack. I don't know. What, what, is his, what is his deal? He doesn't want me to have a single card on the table. He's only got jacks in his card. Keeps jacking me off. It's out of control with this guy. Play another jack. I, oh yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad. <laughs> How? How? Listen to me, you little rat bastard. All right? You may be jacking me off on top of this table, but underneath the table, I'm jacking myself off. All right? The whole time. Make eye contact with me when you do it at least. I'm going to wait. I will wait for the right moment to jack him off. Finally, he decides to make a play. Wow, you finally decided to show up, old man? We go 9-8. Ooh, or do we go 10-8? No, I didn't mean to hit it. Uh, I screwed myself. No, that was a bad play. That was bad. That was a very bad play because it's ascending. And a 9 is a bust there, so we need a heart. That was a really bad play. But we have our jacks. Let's just. Uh, Nine of hearts is like the opposite of what I needed. Nine brings us here to 27. Uh, I mean, I could. I could play my jack on a four. No, what am I doing? I keep forgetting the magic of Queens, Her Majesty. Bless me with your reverse in direction. We go Queen. Thank you, kind sir. Oh, he had to think. I just joined the stream and you're already talking about jacking off. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're talking about cards. We're talking about cards. We're talking about how the jack is played in the card game. So we can reverse direction here. Now we're at 22. He okay. Another one. Uh, do, do you ever get tired of it, Johnson? Four six four. God, and it's descending now. He kept the reverse in order, which really hurts that hand. This guy's tough. Tough as nails. This is why he's got a reputation. You know, he's a really great card player. I think 9, 7 to 16 isn't that bad. We can go diamond. 23. He's discarding. You know they're on the ropes when they start discarding. Uh, where can I go with my Joker? Can I do, can I, do I have any Joker plays here? If I get a three, ooh. I got an idea. We go three on the board. We Joker our three. That's going to get rid of his king three. He loses six points on the middle and he's going to have to find a different path. And he can't play a 10 on that nine. He's got a reverse direction in the middle. If he wants to address the shortfall he's got there. We don't want to get rid of that nine. We want to keep him hold up. He's sitting there with a two. He has to reverse direction over here as well. We might have him twisted. So let's go three, four. 
Uh, wait a minute. We don't have a winning card for the left hand yet. I think I just have to go with my gut here, which is to go from three to seven in the middle. I figured that was coming at some point. That's a good play. Because he knew... Okay. He knew that if he removed that, I would be back in descending order on that hand. Can I jack my own four? I've got two jacks. If I lift that four, no, playing a nine doesn't get me there. But we need to hit him with something here. If we hit him on this eight, we can't do that. He's stuck in this middle hand. If you don't know 100% what's going on here, the middle hand of his is going in an order of eight, nine. The next card he plays either has to be a spade or a 10. A 10 would put him at 27 points, which means that hand is a bust. I just hit the wrong button. I accidentally hit W. I hate my life. No, I did not mean to. I had my finger on the keyboard. No, I was trying to explain. Ah, shoot. He's going to go 7-8. He's going to try and play a 9 on the right hand. And get to 24. I can get to 23 with a queen and a 9. Oh, I can't believe I did that. I can still salvage by bringing... This one to 11. Okay, he goes 26. We got to play a jack here. Now he's at 23. Huh. Oh, okay. We can beat his right column. We go queen, it reverses direction. So now we're ascending. We play a 10. Boom. We have the right column. He's back to playing those dumb games. I can kill two of his sevens right now. If I'm willing to sacrifice a seven, I protect this one. Then we play a five to get it to 21. I kill my seven, but he loses two of his. He got it right back. He only got one of them back, though. So we can go five here to 21. But then it's a game, you know, it's a game of that middle column. He's definitely going to try to beat me with a descending three, which he can do on the right-hand column. I'm still not safe. He goes king and he busts. Damn. Okay. No, not ready to go ascend yet. Eight, two. None of these cards are good for what I really need right now. I could go with the descending two and at least bring this score up a little bit, see what he does next. I bet he throws another king onto my right column. 26, wow. We gotta think. I play my ace to 24. 
He did. He kinged it again. I'm just kind of sitting here holding out for a jack. I still don't think I beat 26. We can go four, five, eight, nine, and take the middle column. He discarded. That's it. That's game. Do I win? Boom! Oh, man. Ho! Oh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That is so exciting. He's like the hardest one to play against in the game. Now when he's playing me. Now when he's playing me. Mm-mm. No sorry. That's so fun. In real time, the dots connected. Uh, I need to catch up on some of these. Four long minutes. Thank you very much for four months. Appreciate it. Good to see you. Sorry, uh that you were uh, sorry that you joined in at an awkward time <laughs> oh wolverine cool good to see you how are you thank you for the tier one i think i'm all caught up though panda activist thank you for 25 months been here for a while good to see you i take it all back you made me love caravan no it's a great game i, I wonder if it's based on Another card game. Now, I can de I can definitely see Caravan being the type of game where if you went to a party, like a family party or something, and somebody... It's, it's the card game where if you tried to explain it to somebody at a table, they'd be like, oh, I bet this game is really, really cool, but I just don't want to learn all the rules to it right now. Can we just play, like, uh, Irish poker or something? Hey. Oh, I forgot. I forgot this game has combat. <laughs> I've completely forgotten. Ow, ow. Oh, terrible, terrible. Alright, decent splash damage. You like that? Then we swap. Go for the knockout. Critical strike, that's huge. Okay, he gets knocked out. Now we really embarrass him. You know it's a cinematic kill when the game glitches out and shows you the drywall. The copper lining of the building. think you're going so here's the problem if I throw this it's gonna hit the ceiling isn't it Look out. oh psych Maybe I'm just okay I gotta say for how much hype the casinos get in this game caravan way more fun Way, way more fun. But I'm going to get going for the day. That was a fun stream. Love this game. Uh, oh, is Jabo still live? Can I actually raid Jabo today? Please. Please, can I raid Jabo, raid Jabo today? We always miss his streams. If he's live right now, I'm going to do it really, really fast. Come on. Yes. Okay, he is live right now. Boom. Hey. All right, talk to you later. Have a good one, y'all.